Hello guys, welcome to Be Me. Yeah, this is the continuation on mastering Bezier tool in Pixel Lab. And um, in this video, we're going to be creating shapes using the Bezier tool. So um, let's create the first um, shape. We're going to create is just a line. Let's just create a line. Because this is your Bezier tool, so click on it. Bezier tool. In fact, we already have a line already. Because for you to form a line, you need two points to form a line. So um, when we already have a two points, we have we already have a line. So once you click your BZ tool, a line will, um, will pop up, which is connecting two points. Now what if we need a straight line? How do we create a straight line with this curved, um, curved line? Now to create a straight line with this curved line, now we need, if I should click, if I should tap on the um, on, uh, on this white board now, without doing some settings right here, mm -hmm. a line will pop up. Like an extra point will protrude. Now, in order to do a lot, for example, let me let me do that. Can you see that? Now that is because I didn't change some settings here. Now the settings is still here, which means if you touch any any points on the whiteboard, a point should be added. Look at it, point plus. Look at the point plus. That means to add any points, you press here, then tap on the screen. But to edit points, you click here. This is to edit the point. That means I should type on any way now. No point should be added. All right. So now I need just one point. Sorry, two points just to form a line. Now I, I since I need a straight line, how do how do we create straight lines in um in Pixel Lab? You know, people ask have asked me um how do you you know create grids for logo? Now this is just the basic principle. Just using this. Now to, to create a straight line with this now, all you need to do is just to tap on this edit points. Right, edit point, then click on where which point you want to edit. Now to make a straight line, take this, put it on this point here. Click on this one too, then put it on that point too. This will be a perfect straight line. Look at that. That's a straight line. Now you've learned how to create a straight line. Let's create um a triangle. Let's get rid of this. Let's create a triangle. So we still click on the big Z tool. Now to create a triangle, we need three points, but we only have um, two points on the screen right now. So of course, if it's not on this, because this is to add points. Here is to add point. So you make sure that this it is activated on this. Then tap on the screen. I should tap here, an extra point is added. All right. But you notice that this is not yet a triangle because there is you know the, the curve is opened. So to join the curves, you come to actions, which is the second icon here, right? Let me go back so you can see what I just did. Come to BZ tool, then add points. Of course, make sure that it is on this add points. Click on it, right? Then come to these actions here. This second icon here, this second icon here, this second icon, tap on it. It connects the points. But even though it connected the point, it is not yet um, a triangle. So come to edit point. Always remember this is to edit point. Of course, bring this here, bring this here. Sorry, bring this here, and bring this here, bring this here. Remember, we need this straight line from here, from here to here, from here to here. We need straight line. Remember how we created a straight line, right? So bring this. Sorry, this one. Bring it, make sure it's on this point. Yeah, take this one to click on it, edit it, and take it, no, take that one to put it exactly at that point there. Then click on this, place it on the point exactly. Then edit this one to place it on the point. These two, that's it, that's it. Yeah, you created a triangle. Then let's say you want to fill it up with a color. Come to fill color. Then select a color that, a, um, a color that you want. If I should click on this now, the color appears in there. Right? Now let me click on mark. Now if you notice there is some kind of black edge. Let me zoom in. There's a black edge. Now that is as a result of the stroke that was activated. Now let me go back and remove the stroke so that you see it. Let me click on this and edit. 
still on busy too. Go to stroke, take it back from six to zero. Now watch and see that the black edge won't be there again. Let's zoom in. That's it. No black edge. So that black edge is as a result of the stroke. Now let's create, you know, we have created a triangle, then let's create um a um a rectangle or um, let's say a square. Let me get rid of this. Let's create a square. Go to BZ tool again. Now to create a square, we need four points. So of course, make sure you want to. Of course, you want to add points, right? So you make sure that since you want to add points, you click on this add point here. Make sure it's activated. Then click tap on the screen and create the four points. Now you want to join these points because it is still an, um, an open curve. To join the point, go to actions. Click on this point is already joined. Then, since you want to edit um, the points now, come to um, this edit point. Of course, you want to create straight lines between them. Straight line, move this down, make sure it's on this point. And this too, make sure it's on this point. Do the same. 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 Then you can fill it with, with a color, any color you want. And if you if you want the stroke to be there, it depends on what you are creating. So if you want the stroke to be there, or if you want the thicker stroke, you can increase it. And again, you can affect the way the stroke should look like. If you want it, if you want the edges to be round, like, just like this. You notice the edge is round if you want the edge to be round make sure it's activated on this if you, if you want a flat edge then you use this but if you want a pointed edge use this can you see that round flat pointed edge that's it so let's zoom out that's just it um so um now to create you know a very you know well ordered shape we use the grid use this grid this is where your grid is in pixel now so if you tap on it of course grid shows up and if you want to activate the grid you click on this so you're having kind of such road and all that so if you if you want to activate um the grid you click click on this click on this icon here make sure it's like there is a circle you know so i mean if, it, if there's a circle on it i mean it's it's um, actually activated then you can pull a, a bz tool and try to edit the points and see the way the grid will guide you look at it it guides you i means to i mean to create a, um, a, a straight line it will be a lot more easier because you, you can just put it put the put this um this protrusion um let me see like this this thing that looks like tentacles you can place it on the line because the line is actually you know um, giving you the directions or um, it kind of guiding you yeah that's it so you can use this to trace out some you know like create grids for logo and all that so let me get rid of these um let's let's create um that same triangle now let's create the same triangle using the grid let it be activated now to create a triangle we need three points um so we we make sure that this is here this um in this busy mode make sure that your your icon is here then tap on the screen to create more points and connect those two points using this then go for editing the points which is this then click on the point you want to, you want to edit put it where you want to put it of course you want to create a triangle so make sure it's actually at the um, uh, you know the corners okay you know, if, if you watch um the grid will 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 actually tell you that um the point is that is exact um is exactly at the middle of the um of the of the intersection between the lines yeah that's it that's it that's it okay you cannot connect using this bring this make sure and watch watch this tp once it connects 
the point of intersection between these two lines the two lines will show up as red watch can you see that telling you this point now this the edge here is exactly at the middle so if it doesn't show this um these two red lines it means it is not at the middle watch this now if i should take it up it will, it will only show one red line telling me that it's just it's just on this line alone but if you should show up on on both lines that means it is exactly at the middle so that's it so let me bring this to this is gonna create a triangle and I'll tap on this and edit it to bring it here these two that's it and that's it we've created a triangle already that's all then in the next video we'll be creating like we'll, we'll trace out a logo like an existing logo a popular logo maybe you can take a guess in the uh, in the in the comment section a famous company um, uh, you know one of the biggest company in the world so like we're going to be tracing out their logo and um see you guys in the next video